In today's Madden 18 tip, we're going to be taking a look at how do you achieve a solid blitzing defense in Madden 18. So, what's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to achieve a defensive blitzing defense, uh, uh, basically how to tell and discern what to do with your blitzes in Madden 18. So if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I just want to encourage you to stick around, watch the entire video all the way through, just give it a shot. And at the end of the video, if you wouldn't mind just leaving a comment and let me know how I did and what are the things that I can do to make this channel better for you in Madden 18. All right, guys, so this is a really, really powerful video. I think it has the power to change a lot of your guys' perspectives. The key with blitzing, most people don't understand. Most people think blitzing is about one thing, sacking the quarterback. It's not. It's actually very little about sacking the quarterback. The key with blitzing, in my opinion, is what you want to accomplish is you want to accomplish a defense that forces what I what I call forced or generated pressure. So if you can force pressure, that's critical. If again, pressure busts pipes. And what I like to talk about too is pressure that they don't even see or feel. Um, this is the this is the best type of pressure. Whenever you can drop. 10 to 11 people in coverage and still have a pretty solid defensive pressure, that's really powerful for your defense. And again, most people think blitzing is about blitzing, you know, five to seven people and basically forcing the pocket to break. And it's not about that at all. Okay. It's actually about a lot more than that. So again, just a couple things that I want to leave you with on this one is the key, uh, a couple things you can do. Here's the first thing. The first thing is blitz from the side that he's rolling out on. In Madden, especially this year, it's very difficult to roll or to basically to outrun a blitz. You can't do it. In years past, you could, but it was much, much more difficult to do. So what's going to happen is when you force the, uh, the quarterback to stay in the pocket, what you're able to do with that is you're able to really challenge the quarterback's ability to stay to, to basically roll out. And so what that entails is if it's a right-handed quarterback, my opinion, they're going to tend to roll right. This guy's a little bit of an anomaly. He's actually rolling left, which is really interesting and really challenging for me to think differently. So again, part of it is you have to read and react. And so if the, if the quarterback is consistently rolling to the left, even though he's right-handed, eventually you have to blitz from the left, which I did. And when we, once we started blitzing from the left side, all of a sudden it fixed all of our problems. So again, you know, that's, that's a critical element to your, to your, to your defense. Another thing that's critical though, and something to consider is, is a, a tactic that I like to do out of cover four. And I'll show it to you on this drive because it's actually going to be about time to do that to him. So cover six is really powerful. And what it, what it basically means is you're going to run cover two on the wide side of the field where they're probably going to throw an outbreaking pattern and you're going to run cover three on the inside breaking, or excuse me, cover four on the inside part of the field. So for example here, what I do is I come out in cover four and I create a cover six, but basically you look here at the play cover six, and we're going to create that cover six out of the cover four drop. So the wide side of the field is the left side. So we're going to run Tampa two on that side. So this is how it looks right here. Okay, and then we have the spy. We do all of our standard things with our blitzes, but I'm going to I'm going to cover this left seam with my user player. We have cover three on the right side, cover cover four, or excuse me, cover two on the left side. And as you can see, it makes it a, a pretty difficult throw. My problem is when they do that. But I mean, I'm going to have to take Joe Hayden and put him at safety. People run these vertical routes. It pisses me off. Good old Mike Hilton here. There we go. But same thing. So again, same thing. So we're going to blitz from the wide side of the field here. And what you'll see is this makes a big difference. As far as where the, the pressure comes from, forces him to roll right into a blitz. There you got to, I don't know how he's doing that. People have been doing that to me a lot lately out of cover two. I think they're trying to make it easier to beat cover two. And they're, the, the corners aren't playing the right principles. But that's one way to blitz. Another thing that you can do, and this is more for the quarterback that's not mobile. This is more for um, like a Tom Brady. This would be a really good defense for a Tom Brady. What you do is you blitz right down the middle. 
So the cool part about the Nickel 55 defense, if you haven't got it, it's in the premium membership. You can get that in the, in the premium memberships in the description. But the cool part about about that specific defense is is that it it creates pressure off the edges. It creates pressure off the uh, and it also creates double pressure. It creates pressure up the middle. Basically, wherever you want the pressure to come from, loop pressure, everything, you can get the pressure to come from anywhere, which is really powerful as we can't tackle. But but that's really, really powerful for your defense. So, again, the key to blitzing, again, is to ask yourself, why are you doing it? And, and I would suggest mixing in a lot more coverage this year than you think you need to because the four down lineman pass rush might be better than the majority of the blitzes in the game especially the four down pass rush from the dime normal formation. If you haven't seen the video I did on the best cover three in the Madden 18, you can check that out. Um, but basically when you use a four down lineman pass rush at Madden 18, it's very difficult to throw the ball in under five. Uh, you, you have to basically throw the ball in under three seconds and it makes it very difficult, especially for most of the routes in this year's game. Most of the routes have a very difficult time getting open early on in the play. And so when when you have a four down lineman pass rush, you can actually create quite a bit of pressure, especially up the middle, the, the nose tackles, the block sheds, especially if you have a good defensive line. So there's that factor too that most people don't even think about. Another thing with the coverage defenses is if you blitz two people from one side and then drop the other guys out into coverage, that's a good tactic too because what that does is you still get the one-on-one -on -one matchups for those two specific guys, and then you have a quarterback spy out there in case he rolls out, and you can do it like that. So there's so many possibilities to pressure. The really thing that I wanted to get across with you guys, this is one of the best things that I've learned for getting more sacks, is, is what you have to really come to uh, the conclusion of is when you realize that pressure and sacks and, 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 and blitzes, they're not necessarily about getting sacks. They're about a defensive mechanic that you're using to try to stop the offense. That's really what it's about. You're trying to get off the field. The defense's job is not to get the most sacks in the NFL. The defense's job is to keep the offense from scoring. Okay, And if you can do those things, that's what's really going to make a difference uh, in, in, your, in your game plan. So... Just something to consider. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. And if you have any questions, please ask those questions. Because, again, the whole purpose of my channel is to try to help you get better in Madden 18. And I can only do that with the questions that you ask so that I can answer them 